Yo, BJ Gador with Men's Health. Happy Friday. It's our weekly, four times, I think th three or four times, body weight follow along workout. This one is an abs focused workout. Before we start, I want to say a beautiful goodbye to our lovely Matt Sapilli, video producer. Um, he is uh, a great man. Uh, he's he's uh, very, sexually, uh, very sexually attracted to him. And uh, we're going to be missing him. He's done a great job for us. So uh, in the comments, say thanks, Matt. His nickname is Zap Attack, um, so feel free to uh, put that as well, and uh, he will be missed. Also with us on the camera is Michael Seaton. His face was the first thing you saw in our broadcast last week. Um, he worked really hard to make sure it didn't happen this week, so we, we're improving as we go. And also Paige, our social media maven, who is going to be Snapchatting us along the way here. So, uh, first of all, welcome. Let us know where you're from. Brazil, Croatia, we love seeing our international people, if you're in the States, let us know which city you're repping. We're going to have some fun today. This is not going to crush you, but it's really going to target the abdominals, get some mobility going, nice good sweat for the weekend, earn those treats, but uh, shouldn't take away from anything you're going to do this weekend. So hope you enjoy it. And if you're coming in at any point and you can't do this with us live, this will replay the moment we go to uh, the page, unlimited replay for your viewing pleasure. So we're going to get started in 30 seconds. All right, I got my timer going. We're going to be doing two-minute work periods, and it's going to fluctuate as we go from over the course of this workout. No equipment needed the first couple of rounds, more about mobility, but you are going to feel your abs, shoulders, and hips kick in in a serious way. You got a funny comment for me? We got people telling us uh, where they're from. West Austin, uh, Grand Rapids, Vegas, baby. Oh, wow. So Vegas, if you're in Vegas, you definitely need to do this workout because out of Anchorage, wow. A little bit of sunlight, I hope, for you. Okay, so we're going to start. Push-up, walk out. Hinge at the hips. Keep the legs as straight as you can. And we're going to walk the hands out as far as we can while keeping the core contracted. You can stop in the push-up position, put the hands under the shoulders, or make it harder by going further out. Hold that for a uh, second. Crunch the abs tight. Walk it back in. And we're going to keep going for two minutes here. At the minute mark, I'm going to have you switch to more of a lateral pattern to get the obliques a little bit more. So come all the way out. Squeeze the glutes. Stay tight. We'll rock another 30 seconds here of the normal one. Yes. Heat up those shoulders and hips. I like this one. If you uh, don't have access to an abdominal wheel, this is a great equipment-free modification that helps really train you to work on anti-extension. So we don't want it to happen is that. Keeping the abs engaged. Don't extend the lower back. And man, this really lights you up in a serious way. Get all the way out there. Make yourself work hard. Feeling the triceps. Yes. Great. If you're a stripper, this is a good one too. Trust me. Come all the way out. Walk it back. You've got to be able to assume the position. So from there, I'm going to walk out laterally. And now my obliques start talking to me. And it's not beautiful language. It's not Shakespearean. It's painful. Stay with it. Coming to the other side. Walk it out. Get that extension. Stay tight. Keep the abs engaged. Bring it back. Oh, yes. It is. That's what they said. Uh, that was actually what the doctor said when I was born. So uh, I've heard that before. Stay with it. Keep walking it out. Keep the abs engaged. Bring it in all the way through. Let's go. We got another 16 seconds, and I'm already immediately regretting programming this workout. Here we go. Hamstrings are mobilizing. Shoulders are screaming. Abs are getting lit up in a serious way. Bring it back. All right. 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Just Derek, because. Derek wants to know if those pants are from the 1980 NBA Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, I think they are, actually. They're John Stockton's. I went to John Stockton's uh, charity all-star event, and he gave them to me. So uh, showing a little thigh today, because you say I skip leg day, and I don't. OK? Just got high calves, or no calves, whatever you want to call it. Five seconds, jumping jacks, jumping jacks. Rock it out. Great job. Coming back down, one leg push-up walk out. We're doing the left leg first. So hinge at the hips, walk out, control, reach, crunch the abs tight, bring it back in. We'll switch sides in a minute here. So I'm staying down, hinging at the hip on one leg. The stability demand is way up, OK? So do your best to stay in it. Lock it in tight, hinge at the hips. We're going to round the upper back a little bit, but we don't want to round the lower back, at least to the best of our ability. Keep walking in and out. 
Oh, sweet demon. I'm burning. Go out further to make it really challenging, or don't go out as far to make it a little bit easier. Oh, hips, hamstrings, everything's going here. I can also, yeah, we're not going to do that. I thought about it, but we're not. Walk it out. Stay low, stay down. Coming back, other side. Change the angle because you don't like my shorts today. Can't win. Wear long shorts, they don't like it. You wear short shorts, they don't like it. So I guess it's going to be a speedo or a thong next time. Stay with it. Rock it out. In and out. Whew. Who's burning? If you're burning right now, let us know in the comments. But don't stop the exercise. Is it possible to do both? We'll find out. Come on. Walk it out. Remember to like and share. Because if you guys don't like this stuff, we're going to lose our jobs. And I need this job badly. Stay with it. Keep walking in and out. Whew. Woo! In and out. Stay with it. I need to have enough income so I can eat my steak and my fries on Friday. Let's go. I'm not sure. Shoulders, hips, core, hip mobility. If you're doing it, you'll feel like your whole body's involved, and it is. So you'll burn fat, improve metabolism, boost mobility. Let's take that 30 second rest. So, a couple of good warm up sequences here. You can do jumping jacks during the rest. How you feeling? Sweating, lathering up. They're burning. They're burning. The burning sensations was the name of my R&B band in, in my past life. Burning sensations throughout this workout, it's the one time where you actually want to get burning sensations. It'll go away at the end of the workout. The other burning sensations tend not to. Okay, plank complex, 30 seconds each. Here we go. Front plank, lock it in. Block the feet together, eyes and fists aligned. Pull the elbows to the ribs. Doing 30 seconds of each of four core plank variations. Work the abs in three planes of motion. Stay tight. Still kind of into our warm up a little bit here. You better be getting warm. Nice and lathered up. Nice and oily. Yes. Who, who brought the baby oil? Did you guys? Paige! I had instructed you specifically. Two, one, left side plank. Oh, yes. The key, you know what? This can be as hard as you want it to be or as fun as you want it to be. It's a mindset. Initially, I was like, I don't want to do this today. But you know, we're in it. We're having fun. We're getting better. The weekend is almost here. Let's make a change. Another 12 seconds on the left side. Then we're going to go to your right or the other side if you messed up, which I'm, I'm assuming half of you went to your right instead of your left. They just it, said you're going to pass out from working out and talking. Yes. That, well, that's, we have defibrillators. And also, I'm, I've been told that by the higher-ups at this company, I'm quite expendable. So they don't care if I pass away. Stay with it. 20 seconds left on the right side. It is not easy to talk and exercise. I don't recommend it. But you know what? It's part of the gig. And don't do this with your neck either. Bad idea. All right? Keep the chin tucked. We're engaged. We're tight. Engage, engage, engage. Lock it in. Squeeze the glutes. And three, two, one. Lay on your back. Lift the hips. Squeeze the butt. Push the knees out a little bit. Keep the abs crunched. Turn on the butt cheeks. Turn them on. Enter butt comments. What's your favorite butt joke? Let us know. Heat them up. Slight knee out helps get that lateral hip going a little bit. Really heat these babies up. Here we go. Is that, is that short enough for you? Who was the guy that called me out on my short shorts? You don't even know. Lock it in. Squeeze. Stay tight. And relax. Okay. Let's pull them back down. All right. So the next one. We're three rounds in. We have nine to go. We're doing a hollow body hold and a hollow body bridge hold superset twice through, 30 seconds each. So one is going to get more of the front side of the body, the other the back side of the body. I'm going to show some easier versions in the beginning, and then I'll light you up as we go. Get ready. This is like sm small space as it gets, but you're going to hate this. All right. Lift the shoulders off the ground. Flatten the lower back into the floor and tuck. Stay tight. Stay engaged. If that feels good, start to slowly work your arms and legs away from the body. Point the toes. If you feel anything in the lower back and your lower back leaves the floor, come back as far into the tucked as you need to to make sure you're feeling in the abs and not your lower back. We're locked in tight. Ooh, make yourself a sweet little Chiquita banana. Nice little banana hammock, which I'll be wearing at the next workout, so schedule it in. Right from there into a bridge hold. So 
Same thing we did before now. So the abs are relaxing a little bit, but they're still contracted. Now we're going back side of the body. So no rest. We get a lot of work done, supersetting opposing muscle groups, and just smoking it out. You can do this anywhere, baby. Hotel. And again, this is available for unlimited replay. You're coming into us uh, in the work that's already started. You can, at the end of this, when it posts, you can replay later. Four, three, two, one. Back to the hollow. Start tucked or go to the extended. You can also go tuck, extended, and pulse in and out. So a lot of great options. That one's nice because you can get the intensity of that extended version, but a little recovery on the tuck. So lock it in and out, hold. Time passes a little bit better too. Woo! Oh! It's heating up, baby. It's heating up. It's like working out with your crazy uncle. It is. Uncle BJ. Uncle BJ. Stay with it. Now, make it harder by doing a hollow body hold. Legs straight. It's a small range of motion. Lift the hips and squeeze the glutes. Crazy uncle. Everybody's got one, right? Right, Mike? No, Mike's got... Mike's uncle doesn't like him too much. He actually shuns him. Stay tight. Glutes engaged. Abs crunched. Stay with it, baby. That's too hard. You can come back to the bent leg version, but it's not too hard because you're a freak. You're a freak of nature. Let's finish off. Two, one. Rest. Rest. Okay, this next one. This is like a prison workout coming up. So you're going to do a hollow body hold, then go to push-ups, also an ab exercise. So there's going to be some pre-fatigue going on. If you get a hernia, it's not my fault. No. So go at your own pace. Do the best you can. If you can't do the push-ups, just hold the plank position, but get ready for some terror in that midsection. Let's stay with it. Lock it in. We'll go back to the hollow body hold. Here we go. Tuck. Stay tight. Extend it out if you can. And then at the, at the 30 second mark, we're gonna roll that right over into push ups. Oh, man. The whole midsection, this whole region, it's getting lit up. Let's go. Squeeze the legs together, point the toes, gets too tough, bring it back to the tuck. Modify if you need to. In eight seconds, roll over and get to work on those push ups. Whew. Stay in it, baby. Stay in it. Oh, it's so terrible. Roll. Here we go. Push ups. Either hold the plank. Or do your push-ups, elbows tucked tight to the side, keep your forearms vertical. Who feels the abs? Let us know. They should be screaming. They're right now. They're like, why are you doing this to me? I'm just, I'm not into this. Stay with it. The abs are so not into this right now. Let's go. 10 seconds left. Go back to the hollow coming up. Chest, core. Oh, stay with it. Ooh, chesty LaRue. Chesty LaRue. Oh, right to the back. Oh, no, why? Why me? Stay with it. Lock it in. Oh, you might want to back off to the tuck if it's getting really tough. Otherwise, we can add that pulse. Bring it back in and out. Oh, no. Core. I hate ab work. Absolutely hate it. Got to do it, but I hate it. Eight seconds. Extend out. Do we have more than 10 viewers? I hope. Yes. Okay. Push ups. Okay, finish off, baby. Lock it in. Oh, holy cow. Stay with it. Stay with it. Let's go. Get better right now. Push, push, and push. Why'd you stop? Let's go. Come on. 12 seconds left. Ah. Ooh. Gray was a bad choice. Gray is always a bad choice. Stay with it. Ah. Oh. Bad news. That was five rounds in. We have seven to go. The next one. So another 30-30 combo going with an airplane hold to a T push-up. There's going to be some pre-post exhaust for the upper back rear shoulder area. Great for improving posture. Looking better in tank top for the summer. And uh, that's what it's all about. People are missing the beard. They're missing the beard. Every winter I grow it back. I, I sweat too much. It's too hot. All right, airplane. So dig the toes in the floor. Lift. The arms cracking up between the shoulder blades. Stay with it. Also, I, when I was wearing the beard, I got, people thought I was a terrorist, so I, I, I have to mix in and out. Just lock it in. Hugging up between those shoulder blades. Engage, engage, engage. I can make it harder by bringing my arms overhead. Bring it back. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, T rotations. 
So rotate, going side to side. Obliques, shoulders, lock it in. Who feels their chest right now still from that previous superset combo? Holy cow. Lock it in, baby. Here we go. Rotate, rotate, stay with it. Think about someone trying to tickle you and clenching underneath those armpits and breaking their hand. Keep that tension in those lats. Coming back down. Now, make that airplane harder by lifting the legs. Stay tight. I can add some sweeps to it. I could also add some internal to external rotations. So lots of options. Make yourself work the back side of the body here. Let's work it out. Whew. I can flutter. This is uh, one of my mating rituals. Lock it in. Flutter, flutter. Okay, now, T push-ups. So push up, rotate. Push up, rotate. Uh, push up. Oh, man. I hate this. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. Oh. Oh, man. Let's go. I got nothing to say because this is just brutal. Lock it in. Five seconds. Let's go. Where's the motivation from my employees and friends? Holy cow. I'm over here dying and they're just like, eh. Mm. Social media. Okay. Halfway through, we got a bear crab complex. I've got like seven different jokes for crabs. We'll see how many we can get in here. Uh, they actually tell me when I do DVDs, just please don't make another crab joke. Um, but it's the burning sensations. Here we go. In place, bear crawl. So left hand, right foot, return. Right hand, left foot, going in and out. The bear crawl is so good for strengthening the core, improving rib and pelvic position, breathing mechanics, also really gets your serratus, those like shark fin like muscles around the rib cage. If you ever seen Rocky IV, you know what I'm talking about. Lock it in, in and out. From there, you got crabs. There's number one, okay? So I'm gonna go, what am I doing here? In, out. Opposite hand, leg, in and out. So a little tricep, shoulder, in and out. The dancing crab. Let's go with it. Lock it in. Make sure to keep those, don't do this. Keep the shoulders down. Opposite arm, leg, step. Coming back into the bear. In three, two, one. So bear, we got bear crunch. So I'm here, pivot the feet, rotate the hips, opposite elbow, knee, back. Woo! Make the sound effect too. Oh yeah. Right in the gillets. Ooh. Ah. Rotate through. Crunch it. Crunch it. Oh. They are the latest version of the Minimus training series. Make sure you say, BJ Gador told you to get them. All right. We have from there, crab toe touch. So opposite hand to toe touch. Touch those New Balance shoes. New Balance, this is free promotion. Doesn't happen too often. Stay with it. Feel everything working here, particularly the umbilical cord, at least where it used to be. Stay with it. Come on. Opposite arm leg. Keep rocking. Tricep. Tricep. Oh. If you weren't crabby today, you're about to be. It's, is that number two? Hope so. Okay, so a little rest here. We got up next another bear crab sequence. Gonna mix it up a little bit. Get ready for it. A little different plane of motion, different variations. But again, one gets more front side, other gets more back side. And we add these kind of reaches and rotations, get the obliques and the lateral core as well. Coming up, lateral bear crawl in place. Here we go. This is too hard. Go to the original one. So, boom. Don't think about it, just do it. Side to side, side to side, side to side. Shoulders, core. Feel a little quad too. That's what I love about these bent knee positions. Get a little quad activity, strengthen your knees. Let's go, baby. Lock it in, lock it in. How are we doing? Any, any ridiculous comments? Guess not. You guys are too serious. All right, here we go. 
Now lateral in place. Other side. Lock it in, baby. Breathe, stay in motion. Breathe and stay in motion. In and out. Woo, 13 seconds left. Uh, maybe. The only problem is this is a Lululemon shirt, which means it cost me $1,000. So I can't give this one away. But maybe the next time. People like that stuff, don't they? I see it all the time. All right, lock it in. Bare reaches. So, knees underneath the, sh the hips, hands under the shoulders. You can make it harder by reaching the opposite arm leg. Stay in it, baby. Lock it in. Small spaces, different places, all types of races. Those are my types of workouts. Lock it in. Engage. Everybody working out together all over the planet, all over the good planet Earth. Lock it in. Crab position. Reach overhead. Oh, yes. Got crabs? Yeah, you do. Right now you do. Let's go, baby. Stay with it. Why didn't the crabs carry the food? Why? Oh, I love it. I, that's what I needed right now. Keep bringing the jokes. Keep bringing the jokes. Oh, love it. That's the fourth crab joke. So it was Kendrick? Yes. Thanks for the assist. Good. Rest. Final bear crab combo. We need at least two or three more crab jokes. Well, Tony calls you the Billy Mays of fitness. Oh, wow. Good. Successful, but also people thought he was on multiple drugs, right? But you know what? He had a great beard. Billy Mays had a beautiful beard. ShamWow, was it? ShamWow? OxyClean. He did ShamWow, too, I thought. Let us know. Oh, okay, he got in trouble? Okay, that's what happens. Okay, bear squats. Bear position. Lift. Lower. In and out. As you come up, really try to squeeze your abs. Make yourself feel your lower abs big time. Quads are going to heat up on this. Let's go, baby. Engage. Engage. This is a bear right now. This truly is a bear. Lock it in. Fully pike up. Let's go. Get that ass up all the way. Let's go. In and out. Boom. Yeah. Crab bridges. Okay. Lift. Lower. Lift. Lower. If it's tingling, it means you've got it. Was that number five? Here we go. Stay with it. Lock it in. Make yourself feel the glutes. Get a good stretch in the chest and shoulders. Let's go, baby. Every good core workout hits the glutes. You got to have strong, powerful glutes. They must be active. You need mobile hips, mobile shoulders. Two, one. Bear position. Now we're going to go with some walkouts. So stay bare, move to push up, come back. Put bare to push up and back. Oh, my triceps. They don't like me right now. Let's go in and out. Let's go. Rock it out. You can make it harder by getting more extension like we did in those push-up walkouts. Let's go. Seven seconds. Stay with me, baby. Stay with me. What? What's up? Okay, crab walkouts. So lift up, hold the hips high, and then translate into a straight-legged position. Walk it back. Hamstrings, baby. Hamstrings and glutes. Walking in and out. Keep the hips up. People make excuses all the time. I don't have enough space to work out all these exercises. You would just need the, the length of your body. That's it. You can do them anywhere. Stay with it. Uh, uh, uh. Extra thrust. Okay. We are nine rounds down. Three to go. This next one, oblique obliteration. Okay. Give those love handles some love. It's going to get a little bit groovy as we get into it. Do the best you can. We're going to do everything on our right side first, and then we'll go to the left side the next round, and I've got a killer ab finisher to finish us off. All right. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. All right. Here we go. Crunch hold. Side crunch hold. Lift. Hold. Just keep that back shoulder off the ground and keep tension in that top oblique. Engage. Engage. Make it harder if you want by adding a little bit of an arm reach while keeping you up. But otherwise, just stay right there. Hold it. Engage it. Four moves, 30 seconds each. We've got 10 seconds to go right into what's called oblique V-ups. So hold this position. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Hold it. Ready? Okay, oblique V-ups. So support yourself here. 
Now we're lifting the legs. Woo! It's heating up, baby. It's heating up. Let's go. Finish strong here. We got three rounds left. Let's go lift. Oh, no. Oh, something just shifted inside. I don't know what it was. Stay with it. Lock it in, baby. Woo! Eight seconds. Coming up next, 30 seconds side plank. Bleaks are already torched. Let's go. Oh, hit it. Raise up. Hold. Balance like you're laying on your side. Lock it in. Core's engaged. Lift. Let's go. 20 seconds left. What do we got, Mike? Jason said, I thought working obliques was kicking your legs. No. You know how much. Why would you say that, Jason? No, and, and it's a big misconception. It would take incredible amounts of loads to really thicken your obliques. And in reality, if you've got a thick waist, it's almost always body fat based. And you don't want to do endless rounds of broomstick twists. Okay? Now, Russian twist. These are actually good. So rotating side to side. We're also doing this with body weight. So there's not much of a loading stimulus. Those obliques are not going to grow much. We're just trying to develop those muscles and really strengthen and stabilize the spine. Did that help, Jason? Hope so. Stay with it. Eight seconds left. Moving at the upper back, not the lower back. Belly button always facing with the hands. Oh. Okay, now we'll do the same thing other side. Two more rounds. Two more rounds, baby. What are, the, what are your weekend plans? Let, let us know. I'd love to hear it. I've got nothing going on. I'm looking for ideas, okay? Paige is going to another rave. Yeah, the raves in Pennsylvania, they get a little sketchy, okay? So be careful. 10 seconds left. Same thing, everything on the right side. Who has the best weekend plans? Who has a really amazing life? Let us know, all right? So right side crunch hold. Yes, just squeeze. Just squeeze it, okay? Hold it tight, engage, lock it in. Woo, right there, get in there. Camping. Mind, what was that? Camping. camping, you know my theory on camping? Why would you wanna to pretend to be homeless? That's my theory on camping. But hey, have a good time. I'll be in my... Uh, paddleboarding. Paddleboarding, nice. Mountain climbing. Nice. Just be careful. Two, one, I'm like a... Lock it in. Okay. Paige, you got a date. Yeah. What am I doing? I completely lost my technique because of that. Thank you. Lock it in. Oblique V-ups. Lift. Lift. Fear by the campfire. Oh, yeah. Rock crawling in the Rockies. Good stuff. Fishing tournament. Yes. I Play love video games. Sounds about right. That's pretty much what everybody else is doing, too. Lock, engage. Left side plank. Here we go. Obliques. Trail running, very nice. We're, we're, trail running where? Where, where? Chelsea? Tell us. Adrian's graduating from college. Hey, Mike, you don't have to talk like this. You can talk normal, too. <laughs> Lock it in. Mike suffers from voice modulation. Sorry, guys. Ten seconds left. <laughs> Five seconds. Let's go, baby. Russian twist coming up. All the great moves come from Russia. Trust. From Russia with love, get those obliques. Twisting. Let's go. Woo! Ah, get it going, baby. Lock it in. Spartan race. Spartan race. Then you probably should not be doing this workout. Save yourself. Let's go. Ah, 15 seconds left. Let's go. Woo! Oh, no. What's happening to my body? It's changing. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Final exercise. Okay, so this is, uh, we're going to go two minutes on this. Eccentric sit-ups. Going to be done very slowly on that lowering portion, keeping the abs crunched. You want to stay rounded the whole time in your spine. So keep that tuck, that flex. This is going to light. You're going to feel these tomorrow if you do them right. What is it, Mike? He's laughing. Do you have any tips for post-workout fuel? Tips? <laughs> You're asking me this right now? Okay, here we go. Eccentric sit-ups. I do have some tips. Hold on. At the end of the workout, I will. Four, three. Two, one, up, slow down, slow, slow, oh, yes. The eccentric strength is so key, but also creates muscle damage to really help build up those abdominal muscles. Post-workout tip ideas. We'll talk later. I got nothing right now, stay with it. Engage, we got another 90 seconds, believe it or not. Finish off those abs. 
Make it easier by going with the legs straighter. Bent knee is a little bit harder. Yes, yes. Crunch it, hold that crunch. Now arms overhead. Oh, that gets a little harder. Stay with it. This, this is really bad, Paige. Paige, help me, Paige. Let's go. Lock it in. Stay with it. Oh. We're going to do a little Q&A at the end of this, too, guys. I want to talk with you all, guys and gals. One minute left. Let's go. Finish strong. Oh. Fight. Fight. Tempo changes everything. Tempo. Tempo, tempo, tempo. Let's go. Stay with it. Oh. Oh, my God. Why do we do this to ourselves? Because we can. Because what's the alternative? Doing nothing? Got to do something. Let's go. Stay with it. 30 seconds left. Fight for it. Let's go, baby. Work for that weekend. We're almost there. Stay with it. Crunch the abs tight. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Almost. Let's make this one really slow. How slow can you go? No, right there. Right there, you want to start to fall. Don't, don't, don't. All the way. Oh, last one. Oh, almost. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Look, that's a 30 minute workout. Hit the abs in a good way. You should walk away feeling better than you did when you started. Got a great sweat going. A couple quick promotional tips, right? So you want to make those Russian twists harder, right? Grab the Metatrade DVD. It weighs a, so much value, it weighs 100 pounds. And do your Russian twists. So a lot of great body weight workouts like this. 30 minutes, 21daymetashred.com. And uh, speaking of Russian twists, this looks like almost Russian propaganda. Pretty good stuff, okay? So uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, the question was on tips for post-workout fuel, right? The most important thing at the end of a workout, you got to get some protein, you got to hydrate. Some people will do BCAs, amino acids. Others will just do like whey protein powder. They both have merits. Try something like that. Also, just plug that water. You need at least one to two cups of water for every 15 minutes of intensive exercise. If you sweat anything like me, you probably need two gallons, okay? So that's a great uh, post-workout fuel tip. If you have time to take a nap, do so. But also just some quick foam rolling for tight, sore muscle groups, about one to two minutes on each side or each area if you have, if you have the time for it. A couple key stretches if you're tight in the chest or hip flexors, hit those up. And uh, one of my favorites is uh, putting your butt against the wall, elevating your legs, and just deep belly breathing for five to 10 minutes at a time. Great way to recover and take yourself from kind of a fight or flight state to a recovery state. Makes a huge difference. Do it at night as well to have a better sleep. Any other questions? No. Wait, wait, no. Everybody, did, did, we, did we kill everybody? Everybody says they're dying. Their abs are on fire. Okay, good. So, uh, do me a favor. If you felt it in your abs, say, my abs were on fire, and you have to spell it F-I-Y-A-H, and I like three exclamation points. Where is the nearby pizza place? Nearby pizza place in Pennsylvania? No. Do they serve pizza in Pennsylvania? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get thrown out of this state. I'm from Wisconsin, so... Uh, George's wife does a lot of yoga. Is a lot of protein necessary for her? Um, you know, so yoga is not going to cause as much muscle damage as intensive resistance training. But if, especially if you're new to exercise, any sort of exercise is going to cause some muscle soreness. Uh, in general, though, we need a baseline level of protein. Your, your body's constantly turning over itself and cell, cellular-wise. Protein also helps fill you up, so you eat less of the bad stuff, less sugar, less starch. It helps elevate metabolism. So yes, protein is based on activity level. If you're really, really doing a lot of uh, strength training and really high intensity activity, you'll need more, but we all need a, you know, a good amount of protein. Typical recommendations would be you know, female 100 to 150 grams a day, and guys anywhere from 200 to 300 grams a day if you're very active. Jim wants to know if these Facebook Live workouts are scheduled. We're trying, that's a great question. So we're having a hard time letting people know about these. We just tend to go live. We're trying to do them every Friday at noon, okay? and to kind of have a schedule in place that way. Obviously, if you guys uh, come in later, can't do it with us live, again, I'm reminding you, as soon as we tr cut off this transmission, it goes right to our page, and you can play it unlimited anytime. Um, but we're going to try to do these Fridays at noon. If it changes, uh, we'll let you know in advance, but we're going to try to keep that schedule.
One bicep is bigger than the other. What does he do? Well, I think we all know why that is. Hmm? No, so uh, when you have a, a strong side, you want to do, or weak side, try to do a couple extra sets on that weak side. So if I was doing a biceps work on it, typically was going to do, let's say, four sets. Just do two sets on the strong side and do four sets on the weak side until they get symmetrical again and the strength levels are appropriately the same. And also, you know, adjust your other type of schedule. That was it? Yeah. Okay. Yo, BJ Gador with Men's Health. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please like, share. Help us get more people doing these great workouts. We'll see you next Friday at noon. And uh, God bless.